Locking your doors, creeping my drawer, socking your mouth with a torn stocking. Wrapped around and knock it. I creep in while you parking. Shoot out the lights, darken. The area then hopping. Pick up my bigot. Who helped me figure the plotting? Dropping the top, splitting the dough, shopping and rotting. New York, birds flocking because I'm heavy like both stocking coat. What's your coat from full sparking? Dilly departing. Yeah. Unforgettable can't yeah. be forgotten. Yeah. It's, album it's, it's the Monday. Chopping the raw, locking the it's Reach Around Radio. It's I love those guys. They they sound so good together. Meth and Red. Yeah. It's your boy Speedy in the house. Great combination. So all the big girls don't lose no weight because. Uh... Yeah. Oh, must we? Yeah. Must we? Yeah, yeah. You know you're feeling this part. Get your little wheat, little dime sack. Dime sack don't even make a blunt, nigga. Let y'all know mm. I'm cold what I am. <laughs> Everybody see. Drifting on a memory There's no place I'd rather be Than with you Yeah, yeah Loving you You can play this at any time Somebody break out with the dominoes Let me get them dominoes Let me get this game going <laughs> You know, I won a domino championship before. <laughs> what? I won, five, yeah, I won $500 in a domino. Don't believe Gold Bay domino. Area Domino <laughs> Festival. <laughs> Don't believe you. I'm looking through my email right now for, from, for an old um, email from Pam. Uh-huh. And I look at one from like months ago. And uh-huh. look what pops up. Oh, my God. A <laughs> dick pic. <laughs> that one, too. Speedy, you can look. Wow. <laughs> look at that. Like... I think so many of them. That's, <laughs> that's a nice one, by the way. Pick a dick. Yeah. Who's in that? Pick a dick. I think because guys were sending her pictures to be evaluated for a, a while. She sees she's the, the, she's dick, the evaluator. She's the dick doctor. <laughs> Get the <laughs> dick whisperer. Dick Get whisper. the Pam dick approval. <laughs> the approval rating. And we'll find out on uh, Scrambled Eggs and Pam how she actually examines and rates. Yeah, how do you? Uh, is that you, Claudia? Yeah. God damn, you fun. Thank you. I my Trayvon Martin. I gotta get some weight on you. <clears throat> no, I'm chubby right now. Oh, uh, we have a caller. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, uh, we have a caller. Turn <coughs> turn turn the house down. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, this is Big Ran out in New Orleans. Hey, hey Big, Big Ran. What's up? <laughs> can you, t- can you turn, turn down your computer or your radio? Uh oh, I'm sorry. My bad. My so bad. Good. What's up, what up Claudia? Good to see you back. Hey, thank you. Glad to be back. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Are you calling to call the you guys? What's up? I'm are sorry. You, uh, you want to answer our question of the day? You know it's over when? Um, yeah, you know it's over when. Uh, Louis Dix and Brandon, Madi- Brandon McGee are doing Foxhole Friday. <laughs> Hysterical. <laughs> call of the day. Call of the day. <laughs> Big Ram. The Moscato joke of the day. <laughs> That's funny. Nice. Well, the I big, like that photo. That was cute. Like that. that was cute. We have another caller. Caller with the name. And where are you calling from? <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's uh, Chris from Connecticut. What the hey, heck? Chris. Hey, Chris. Connecticut. <laughs> Been hanging out with always. Oh, you haven't. Hey, Been hanging out at Skinny. You know, just wanted to say uh, what's up to y'all. You know, shout out to uh, the team RAR women. I just want to um, thank y'all for keeping up on the Trayvon Martin situation. And uh, before I go, um, just want to let Jordan Zimmerman know that he could take a Whitney Houston shower and kill himself. <laughs> <That's terrible>. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Chris is funny. Oh, funny. Hilarious. Hey. Thank you, Chris. Chris from. Does, real, he, does he get up in the morning and write him? Does he write him? He calls like extra ultra sexy. Hot <laughs> so hot and hot. Uh. So hot and hot. Uh. Uh. Is Nelly ever going to come back out? I don't know. Do that again. Got a little bitty legs up. Got a little bitty legs up. <laughs> Got a little bit of. Got the dick cone out, out, out. Dick cone. That's <laughs> <laughs> like the ending. Dick cone. Yeah. Dick yeah. <laughs> okay, this part of the show, we talk about some interesting items in the news. Hot and the topics. first item up is a club in Montgomery, Alabama Skinny? is promoting Food Stamp Friday. Oh, come <laughs> on. We got to get down to that. <laughs> food Stamp Friday. <laughs> Food stamp Friday. I'm gonna get in this week. Well, it'll be 12 food stamps. 
Only they cold drink. They have cards now. Do they have food stamps they still, anymore? It's down south. They still got food stamps. They still got wow. actual food stamps. They have not stamps. upgraded yet. They still got <laughs> still actual got, stamps. They still got the booklet. <laughs> Give me your booklet now. If you tore it out, I can't do the shit with it. If you tore it out now, don't Well, the manager out. of the club says the night is meant to complement the other Niggas. club nights, theme nights, such as Fat Tuesday. That's my day. Karaoke mm-hmm. Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Or Thirsty Thursday. Uh-oh. RT. So, <laughs> so <laughs> Friday yum, yum, is... Yum. Food Stamp Friday. Friday. What's the name of this club? It's called Food Stamp Friday. So it's called the Rose Supper Club in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. He says the patrons will not be able to use their food stamps to buy drinks. (laughs) He says he hopes the novel approach will draw people to the club. And, uh, Black the- folks. So we're going to do a commercial <laughs> for them. Are you ready? <laughs> sure. RT? Sure. Let's do the commercial. And boom. All right, come on out to Food Stamp Friday. If you want to get you some country fried steak or some Salisbury steak or you want to get a martini, it don't matter. Just come on out to Food Stamp Fridays and get yourself something tasty to eat and drink. <laughs> <laughs> Food Just remember, shoes, no service. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, take the money, the stamps that are meant for your starving children, starving and, kids, go get and your use that on. towards the club to get you another baby daddy <laughs> to get a bigger food stamp. At least it's not a strip club. <laughs> food, well, food stamp Friday. They buy you buy food with the food stamps. What's the problem? Well, is it the really love, food or is it the them? human resources department is not happy about it. They <laughs> <You think? laughs> that the food assisted benefits are are benefits are meant for people that you know need to nourish their family. I'm gonna bring the kids. No, <laughs> so but what what does the owner do with the food stamps? He takes he the food stamps and he gives them back. He uses them yeah. or sells them probably. Or to sells crackheads. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but you buy from the crackhead. Do you guys remember when ODB went and picked up his welfare mm-hmm. check? Sure, yeah. 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 And a little bit. Had the number one album in the country. It's still on. <laughs> <laughs> Had his little EBT, his welfare card and everything. Okay, the next story is, um, you know that uh, last week someone won that mega million jackpot in the DMV. How much DMV. was it? What do you mean? It was like 640 600 million, and something. Yeah. 600. Over half Three a billion. Three people Dollars, yes. biggest but three people lottery across, ever. Across yeah, so um, forty-two states. Employees yeah. at a McDonald's in Maryland are outraged because one of its co-workers uh, claims she won the hundred and five million after they all pulled together and bought tickets. Cashier Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> she says that. Bitch. Although she went and bought the group ticket, she also bought her own ticket. Inconceivable. And her own ticket is the ticket that won. You think? <laughs> <laughs> but why wouldn't you not want? How many people is it? Fifteen. Uh, oh, okay, I keep it. Keep it. Well, it's yeah. 15. Wait, wait, wait. But she won two hundred and eighteen million before split taxes. It up, split After taxes, a lump sum of a hundred and fifty-seven. But still, that'll last okay, her let's split that up with fifteen so people. So ten million dollars. Ten million dollars. Even if yeah, it's ten million dollars each. No, I ain't and, you, and they were working at McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. They were working at McDonald's. You probably making ten thousand dollars a year. They never gonna see that. So they gonna sue her? Is that what they're doing? Well, she's not gonna win that. That they say um, she. Um, at least gotta break them all. Unhappy meal, order up. <laughs> <laughs> well, she claims that you know, she Unhappy. bought the ticket or whatever. So she, she actually, when the numbers were announced, she actually was calling her coworker saying, "I won." I won. <laughs> hey, 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 don't. I won. Stay so there. Don't quit. A few of the co-workers went to her house. She wouldn't answer the door. They was like, bitch, you better come the fuck outside. <laughs> get, you your ass ass <laughs> get your ass whooped. Get your mick whooping. Get your mick ass whooping. Get your mick ass whooping. That's hilarious. She well, at least got to break them off. At least. And then when they asked off. her about the ticket, she said she, that she has to find it. Oh, I got to find it. She got to break They happen to actually confirm that she actually did win, so. They yeah. She, That'd be hilarious she didn't win. She didn't win, and she did all this for nothing. Be, yeah, she got to break them off. See she got to give You see her? Can I hear yeah, my yeah, job back? She's a, a Haitian yeah. born. Oh, she's going back home. <laughs> you <laughs> think putting, so? You live like a queen. <laughs> she's putting voodoo spells on she everybody else. killed her ass over there. <laughs> That's money. crazy. Um, wow. She wrong. Bitch, give him a hunt. Give him a minute. Because you remember, like two a week or so ago, we talked about the other guy who did that. Right, exactly. Didn't split the construction with his employees. Worker. But how do you do that? I mean, we we could sit here and say you know, I wouldn't do that. But once you get the money, y'all can say. But come on, a hundred million. Come on, I can't spend that shit. I give each one of y'all. Yes, you I can. I give each one of y'all a thousand dollars. I'm gonna give y'all all a thousand. 
<laughs> Get your life together. Speedy, I know you can spend it. You are a bigger sp- you are worse than Claudia and Pam and myself put together in the With mall. shopping? Yeah, wow. he's just buying short sets and jack out vests. <laughs> and- hey, big spender. <laughs> <laughs> and he probably has a closet full of Air Jordans. I do, huh? Nike. Shoe collection's great. Do you have other shoes outside of Nike? No, I just I love Nike. Got heels. My son Nike heels. You got some Louboutins. <laughs> my son Brooklyn is Air Cat we, we both Virgo. Red bottoms. So he he's in a little league and he's like, Dad, I need some new shoes. So he's sweating. Dad, I need new shoes, new shoes. Can you wear a thirteen? Boy, you better go look in that closet. <laughs> Speedy, why you always gotta say that the fact that you're a Virgo? What does that mean? Because Virgos are, are very uh, anal. Very anal. You like anal. Speed, you're not a Virgo. <laughs> what am I? I wouldn't even Hold say that. Hold up, it's a joke coming. It's a joke that. coming. What am I, T? You're a mango. <laughs> and your moon is in spaghetti Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> mango. Tits. <laughs> well, Speedy, so. you might be able to to debunk this next story. Uh-oh. Okay, look forward. Do you know what that means? <laughs> bunk <No>. beds. <laughs> yeah, bunk beds. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Men with high fat diets mm-hmm. have low sperm count, according Impossible. to a wow. study. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, you're proof positive. <laughs> a new study shows <laughs> that <laughs> men who um, eat large amounts of fatty foods, especially saturated fats common in meat and dairy products. <laughs> <laughs> meat. Why you guys say it like that? Meat. <laughs> Pepperoni is not a meat. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the Pepperoni family. Thank you, Claudia. <laughs> That's right. And ice is not water. Keep so, it real. And they well, they're reported to have a lower sperm production and concentration. They didn't test me. A diet consisting of thirty seven percent or more of fat or more of fat calories or just thirteen percent or more of saturated fat calories correlate with forty percent dip in sperm count. You dip it in sperm. <laughs> so if you smoke weed and go to McDonald's, you will never get anybody pregnant. <laughs> that's, that's birth control. That. Wow, that's male that. birth control. Don't say that. Good job, You got people. Do you want McDonald's? Uh, Eat this quarter pounder, girl. Yeah, you be all right. <laughs> you won't get pregnant. Um, the morning after McMuffin. The morning after McMuffin. Jelly not included. <laughs> that's terrible. Semen pick a pop. What do you know about him, Scott? Um, yeah. You feeling it? You starting to feel it? A little bit. Am I looking cute? No. <laughs> <laughs> Another bottle. Stat. <laughs> we, got, we got a couple more stories coming up, but we're going to take a quick break. Quick break. Uh, what? Go grab some Moscato and we'll Moscato. be right back. Busy always in the mix. 247-7443. Skype. Question of the day. 